Now in our previous video, uh, we were able to find the maximum tension using integration and also differential calculus. However, there's a way to obtain this value by just using our calculators. And so the first step is to go to mode and then go to equation. And then you have to pick uh, two equations to unknowns. And so what we are essentially doing here uh, is we are summing up forces horizontal and vertical. And so let's first sum up forces horizontal. So uh, summing up forces along x, uh, we have the horizontal component at a. And so that will be, uh, let's say this is ta and then this is tb. So our horizontal component will be negative ta and then cosine 30 for the horizontal component of this one. And then again, this is negative because it's going to the left. And then we have uh, the horizontal component of TB, which is uh, TB cos 60. And then it will be acting to the right. And so that will be plus. And then uh, TB cosine 60. And then we will equate this one to 0. And then for the summation of forces along Y, we have uh, summation of FY is equal to 0. And so uh, we have the vertical component of TA, which is uh, TA sine 30. And then it acts downward. So that's negative, negative TA uh, sine 30. And then plus the vertical component of TB, which is TB sine 60. And so this will be plus, uh, plus TB sine 60. And then we have this resultant force, which is acting downward. And so this will be minus, so minus 3000. And then we will set this one to zero. However, we need to rearrange this one because uh, let's go to mode and then press 5 for equation and then press 1 for two equations to unknowns. Uh, as you can see, the form here is uh, a coefficient times x or the first unknown plus another coefficient times your second unknown which is y is equal to a constant value. And so we need to transform this one into this equation. And so our constant term should be at the right. So uh, we can move 3000 uh, to the right and then it will change its sign so uh, instead of negative this will be positive uh, we are essentially just transposing and so we already have these two equations and so to get ta and tb uh, we will just use our calculators press 1 and then let's try to input the coefficients so for ta we have uh, we will input this at a so the coefficient of ta is negative cosine 30 so negative cosine 30. And then the coefficient of TB is cosine 60. And so we will type that one here. And then that's equal to 0. And so we won't change this one. And then uh, for the summation of forces vertical, we have uh, TA, which has a coefficient of negative sine 30. So negative sine 30. And then uh, TB, which has a coefficient of sine 60. And then that's equal to 3000. And so we will type 3000 here. And so now we will be able to get TA and TB. Now this is the value of X, which corresponds to TA. And so our TA will be 3000. And then this is Newton's. And then our TB will be, uh, press equals, we have 5196.15. So 5196.15 Newton's. And so as you can notice, uh, we can solve the maximum tension just by using this one because this is the same as this one. And so that's how you can directly solve uh, TB. Now you may use this one to check your answers. But for the equation of the curve, you have to go through this process, uh, this one. But using some back solve techniques, we can still get FH. Now how will we do that? Let's go back to this equation. Uh, we know that 2598.076211 is our FH. Now we initially have TB. And so to get FH or this value, we will just multiply TB by cosine 60. And so we have uh, this value, 5196.15, and then cosine 60. And so we will be able to get uh, this value or FH. And then for this value, uh, this is just obtained using FH and then times the tangent of the angle at A. Again, our FH was 2598.08. And so to get this value, we have to multiply FH by the tangent of the angle at A. So uh, times tangent and then our angle at A is 30 degrees. And so we will type 30. And so this is how you can get uh, 1500 just by the answers that you obtain from the calculator. And so again, uh, you can still develop the equation of the curve through the calculator technique if you will combine it with back solve techniques. And so you can use this method whenever you have a quiz if you want to check your answers.